Holm Dental Unit saved my butt in the first semester of my second year of dental school. So if you're in dental school and you think you can benefit from an at-home dental unit, you definitely don't want to miss out on this video. Stay tuned. My name is Teham Saud and I'm a second year dental student. If you're tuning in here for the first time, this channel was created for anyone interested in a career in dentistry, no matter what part of the journey you may be at. So if you think you can benefit from something like that, please consider subscribing and liking this video for future content. So what made me decide to put together an at-home dental unit? So with COVID going on, every academic institution has been hit in certain ways that they've never been before. There's a lot of changes that these academic institutions had to go through and dental schools were no exception. So before we left for spring break last year, I felt pretty comfortable with the operative dentistry that we were learning. But as you know, the three month hiatus during quarantine really affected me in a negative way where I just wasn't able to come back to school after quarantine and confidently be able to do the things that I was doing three months ago. So the way our school broke it down was that there's two teams, right? So half the class is coming in in the morning and the other half is coming in the afternoon. And then every other week you keep switching. So essentially the time that we had in the SIM clinic was cut in half and I knew that wasn't gonna cut it for me. So I went ahead and researched a lot regarding what I could do in terms of practicing at home. And I came across these fully electric powered all in one at home dental kits, which were pretty convenient, but I wasn't trying to drop like two grand on it. So I went ahead and put something together myself and tinkered with things and finally got it to work. And I really just wanted to share it with everyone. And after all of those things that went into it, it took less than $310 for all of this stuff to work. So it's a fraction of the cost and you're getting the exact same results. So I highly recommend any dental student who's obviously not in a situation to be able to invest a lot into a product. So, you know, just a little tinkering, a little bit of research, you can save a lot of money. And I hope this is something you guys can take away from. So before I go into the components of everything that went into this unit, I just want you guys to know the links for everything are going to be in the description. So take a look at it. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. So there's three main components that went into this. It's the type of rod, the compressor and the actual dental unit. At my school, we use two different type of dots. We use one for operative dentistry and one for fixed prosthodontics. And both of those actually fit on this type of dot mount. The really unique thing about this air compressor was that it's a silent air compressor. It's probably the most quiet compressor I've ever heard, and it's so small. I live in an apartment, so obviously it's not that loud and doesn't really bother anyone that's nearby us. Now, the dental unit itself, it has a module and within it, it has the, it has the air water tip, with the handpiece connector. So whenever you're purchasing this, just be wary of it that there's two versions of it. There's gonna be a two hole version and a four hole version. So just depending on whatever you think you need, just buy the one that you know that you'll be comfortable with. I myself bought the four hole one. So whatever handpiece you buy, make sure it's the one that can fit on the actual module that you buy. And there's a little connector that you're also gonna to have to purchase somewhere. I got it from Lowe's. Again, I'll put the link for that in the description. Everything you need is going to be in the description. So we were in operative dentistry and transitioning into fixed prosthodontics in the beginning of our D, in the beginning of our D2 year. So I was struggling, man. I was struggling immensely. And no matter what I was doing in the same, I just wasn't getting it. I was talking to people near me and I was trying to get advice and stuff. But like at the end of the day, you have to do everything yourself because it's all muscle memory, right? So you need to know how to be able to control your hands to be able to get the result that you want with whatever prep you're doing. So the class this helped me the most was fixed prosthodontics. It was such a stressful high stakes class. It's the class where you learn how to do uh, crown preps, right? Kind of talked about this before. So if you have this tooth from all aspects of the tooth, you're essentially reducing it. So this is going to come in. This is going to go in. The ones from the interproximal sides are going to go in. So essentially you're reducing the tooth. And while you're reducing it, you have to keep the anatomy of the tooth the way it is naturally. So you have to reduce it in all dimensions and essentially then you get to be able to fit the crown on top. It's definitely the prep where we're reducing the most tooth structure out of the things that we've been taught so far. And that's what makes it challenging is that you have to reduce it evenly all across and depending on what type of crown you're doing, the dimension of the width 
is dependent upon what material of the crown you're going to be using. We learned a bunch of the different types of crowns. We learned PFMs, ACCs, uh, metal crowns. So there's different types of crowns and depending on whichever one you decide to do, your prep is gonna be, your prep's dimensions are dependent on the material that you use for the crown. So yeah, this is just a short video. I hope it was helpful. And if you guys have any questions regarding any of the materials that were needed to make this at home unit work, let me know. Put it in the comments. You can email me. Hope you guys took away something from this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.